Hey, 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 this is BA and welcome to WD GAN Math Basics Part 2. Uh, listen, folks, if you haven't seen Part 1, you really should because uh, this really won't, you won't get as much out of this as what you would have with uh, having first read, uh, seen Part 2. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is WD GAN's Coffee Letter. Now, in Part 1, we did the first four parts and I showed you why this was so important. What we're going to do now is we'll, we'll take uh, these next two paragraphs. We'll stop down here at the March coffee. You can either write this out, freeze it, write it out, or go to my site and download this uh, coffee letter free. My site sells nothing, so it's, of course, free. And um, what we're the reason, again, why this is so important is because nowhere else does GAN really write out uh, the elements of his price system. Okay, this this is really the first. So although you and I don't have an interest in trading May coffee, okay, there's elements in here that are app applicable to all the forex markets. Okay, they're applicable to all the forex markets, and so that's why it's so critical, critical. Okay to really grasp these. And so we're taking our time and we're really working through it. Let's get started back with the slides. GAN, the dollar value is 28,171, which equals 11 Capricorn 45. Okay, BA, take the way we get that is take 28,171 and we divide by 100, which is the quote unquote dollar value. Okay, which equals 281.71 or approximately 11 Capricorn 45 okay so that word dollar value there that's kind of a sneaky word uh, to be used in there but all he means is uh, you know just uh, move the um, decimal over okay because um, up here he's got uh, uh, 28,171.00 and basically what he's saying is that, you know, especially, and this is operative also in, in currencies, you have to move the decimal. And that's uh, what he's doing here. Okay, let's continue on. GAN, five options on March 19, 1954, was 8,663, okay, which is 28 Aries or 60 Helio Jupiter. Okay. Now, what he means by that is the price at 8663, which equaled 28 degrees, was uh, in a, what's called a sextile aspect, 60 degrees to heliocentric Jupiter. BA, Jupiter was at 29 Gemini 58 on March 19, 1954. 8,663 mod 360. If you don't know what mod 360 is, please go check out part one because it's in there. Mod 360 equals 23 degrees or 23 Aries. This is a little lost motion, but it is within orb of conjunction. Okay, it's uh, from about uh, 29 degrees uh, to 23 degrees, so it's you know it's about six degrees, and that's that's within orb uh, for this. Uh, Gans price systems have just a little bit of play in them, a little bit of lost motion. Okay, Gan. Heliocentric Jupiter is 20 Gemini 31, which means the price of 8,729 was at that degree. Okay. BA, typo, and this is the first of many. Or is it the first? I don't know. It, it's, I'm confused. <laughs> There's a lot in here. Anyway, typo, Jupiter was at 29 Gemini 38, not 20 Gemini 31. Always, when Gan lists a plan, planetary longitude, always check it with an ephem, ephemeris, okay? Because he can throw you out. Price was at 8,729. Mod 360 equals 89 degrees. And conjunct Jupiter at 29 Gemini. Okay, price was at 8,729. Mod 360 equals 89 degrees. And that's conjunct Jupiter at 29 Gemini. Okay, so uh, basically price was at the same degree of the zodiac as, as the planet Jupiter. GAN, heliocentric Uranus is at 21 Cancer 52. And the price at 21 Capricorn 52 is opposite to this. 
SBA. He means that if price was at 21 Capricorn, it would be opposing the planet Uranus. And it's a very important concept, meaning uh, it would be in aspect to the planet Uranus. And if there's a connection there, it, it'll stop it. Okay. Gan, April 16, 1954 is 276 months from April 16, 1931. Low of 435. Using 50 points per month, the 45 degree angle crossed at 8,715 on March 19, 1954. Secret, 50 will not work. He's using Saturn scale of 30, okay? Saturn scale of 30. So if you put 50 in this above, put 50 in there, it's not going to work. The math will never work for you. BA, this is the right math. 276 months times 30 which is 30 points per month, equals 8,280. Add this to the 435 low, and you get 8,715. So visualizing this, what he's doing is he's taking a low, and he's generating a line uh, from that low based on a Saturn scale of 30. So in your mind, see, this, see the coffee low down there? And he's got a, a line emanating from it going up, okay, at the rate of 30 points per month every single month. Excuse me. And it again, the sun has moved 8,253 degrees from April 16, 1931. Add this to 435 gives 8,688 as the resistance angle. BA, sun is one point per day. So 8,253 plus our 435 low gives 8,688. Okay, the sun moves one, one degree a day, it's one point per day. Note his resistance angle here, okay? Let's think about this because you'll, when you draw these angles, when you draw these planetary, what we're calling resistance angles now, okay, you'll see price will go through go through it one time like it's not even there. Just go shooting right through it like it's not even there. Won't pay, won't pay it any mind. At another point in time, that same angle, price will come down to it or go up to it. It'll stop on the angle and pivot and go the other way. Okay. Now that's interesting. Okay. Because what's occurring, why did it blow through at one time and stops it at another? And the reason for that is when it stops it, it's active. Okay. So all you got to do, and all you got to do is, is, is find the connection between the active points and and your 435 low in this case, okay, which is your starting point, where you started that angle, okay? You have to find that connection. Once again, welcome to the beginning. This is BA. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.